Cut. Cut. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Today, from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas, this is Matt Football on EA Sports. see Davis Mills and the Houston Texans taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. They do it big here in Houston and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. We are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is incomplete. But it's second down. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. First and 10 now in Houston territory at the 38. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And this will leave him a yard short. Lanes are available. You have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step. And that's a big pickup right there on first down. Right back to Singletary on second. Three back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Allen. And a dangerous throw there. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Allen going to throw. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have them looking at third and ten. Here's Allen. This is intercepted. Picked off at the 17. And he will bring this across midfield. First and 10, Mills. And he finds Danny Amendola. He creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On second down, there's the option going left. And that play goes nowhere. He's met behind the line, and a penalty flag may end. Isn't it? They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. To throw Mills. Screenplay, Johnson. Feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. No score after one on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Allen. And a dangerous throw. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. Dang, this time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off at the 30. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. For the Support and tackling the runner for a loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing Mills. Working the middle, and he's got it complete to Aikens, the tight end. Man, that's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him. Burton short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. A first down throw for Mills. It's complete to Chris Conley. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Mills to the air again. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign him? And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Stepping up in the pocket. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. 49, 49, Another try after the first down sack. Mills. That one. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. On third down, here's Mills. Throw the other, but still a decent game. Four passes, two to his team, and then two to the wrong team. It makes you wonder what he's seeing downfield because he has completed two passes to his own team, but the interceptions are troubling. Is he going to... And that is caught! One-handed! Oh, my! He pulled it in! Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To throw, it's Allen. Oh, this is a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much since. Allen. And that is knocked away first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You get and when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. Hughes on the stop. It's the Texans in front, and they're going to get the football first as we are back underway in the third quarter. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it for on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And they take him down. The Bills. 
Jones get to him. But in defenses, imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find Possession of the second half. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all nothing offensively in this game. First touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. First down, they stay with Moss on the ground. And run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the foot. Somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Third down, here's a run by Moss. And yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. On play action, Allen. There goes a deep ball in zone, and that is incomplete. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Allen off the play fake. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, Hey, you've got to call that both ways. And this one is incomplete. Even core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there. There. Right back to Moss. And he is in zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Zach Moss, a 13-yard touchdown run. Kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Mills now looks to throw on first down. Open man is Jordan, the tight end. A little bit after they give up a touchdown. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. Second and six, just inside the 30. Looking to throw his mills. That's complete to the tight end, Akins. Legends found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. And he's got Amendola on the connection. Coming to you, coming to you. Throwing again on second down, Mills. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. But overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah, he needs better protection. The pressure gets to him again. Helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one possession game with a 43. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. On play action, Allen. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. There's football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Throwing on second and long. Allen. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Back to throw. Allen. 
He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And this is taken in at the five. Whistles now in a timeout. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. So Allen's going to look to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Twice here late to have a chance. Mills on first down. Four left side complete. That's Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out. And the Bills have recovered. Well, that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board. It was needing they to, had to they having had to, to, and they didn't get it done. Yeah, it didn't. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And Allen is actually going to throw it here. This is caught. Touchdown. Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. That's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Take him down. The Bills get to him. And now they're in the hurry up. After the sack on first down, Mills, he's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Just like that downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Mills to throw it. And the catch made by Johnson. And he gets this up across the 35. It should be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime, obviously hit home i think it's a little bit more than that though obviously there are words that are said and hey come on guys we have to play better but sometimes it's just sharpening your execution sharpening your focus and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments just doing them better and that got it done in this one That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. So long from Houston.